This video is for Sagittarius. Spirit, what is coming towards Sagittarius the rest of September? What are the messages Sagittarius needs to know for the rest of September? I am tonight using the little Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Okay, so let's see kind of what it has to say. It says, Sabotage Rebuilding persistent working on it okay so there could be something like somebody could want to come back around and like rebuild with you or you could have somebody who wants to like self-sabotage a relationship or somebody who did a lot of you guys might be dealing with people who have self-sabotaged your relationship well, that was too many about five of them came out together i'm not going to take them Okay, talking. It says, more awaited messages arrive. Text, call, email, hovering. <laughs> okay, so some of you guys could be expecting a message or going to receive a message. And then it says hovering. So I'm assuming that's kind of like stalking in a way. So there could be somebody who could be even talking about you. It might be getting, yeah, it looks like it could be your soulmate. These two came out together. So some of you guys are soulmates in separation. So you guys could be expecting a message from a soulmate who's in separation, who's self-sabotaged. This person also might be like stalking you, but there's definitely somebody here. It says sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, okay, so the person that you guys are in separation with are like yearning for you, missing you. And you know, it's strange. I've been hearing this a lot from people. Like if you guys have been feeling like really stressed out lately or just like this really heavy ass energy um, and you are in separation with your like twin flame or your soulmate, you guys are feeling each other's energy like crazy. So if you've been feeling that way lately, that's what you're feeling. You're feeling their energy. Because I feel like some of you guys are doing fine. But your twin or your soulmate, they're not doing okay. So you're like energetically feeling them. And you're picking up on their energy. And you just know it's like not your energy. You know that it's coming from an outside source. So, sounds like this person's not doing well. <laughs> could have been somebody you were married to because the wedding ring flew out it says soul connection eternal love everlasting promise so you guys probably have been together for like multiple lives here because this talks about soul connection and eternal love so a lot of you guys are dealing with some type of soulmate here who's in separation you guys have done this lifetime after lifetime <laughs> and then we have a love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, so this means this person is going to reach out. So for a lot of you guys who are missing somebody, this person is going to reach out to you. <laughs> and then it says, um, at the bottom, I wanted to read it because it says, Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. So there could be somebody who's like not showing their hand. But it's like, I, but what I really get with this, um, ooh, look what's next to it. Yeah, look at these two at the bottom. Something told me to look at them. So we have twin, flam twin flames, and then we have hand of cards. So I feel like somebody, like you guys are in separation from a twin flame, soulmate. This person's about to take a chance and risk it all and like go all in and come forward. So for those of you who are like in separation from your person, this person's about to call you, come back and just like give in. So somebody's about to surrender. Some of you guys are probably about to get chased too by this person. Okay, so let's see what the tarot says. 
What does Sagittarius need to know for the rest of September? What is coming towards Sagittarius in the rest of September? What messages they need to hear? If you'd like a reading, just email me. I still have several. I'm working on them. I'm going to get those done. Okay, let's see. But if you want one, go ahead and email me. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, look, we have the world card in reverse and the knight of swords and the magician in reverse. Ooh, we <laughs> then your energy. Okay, so somebody is about to come back. Like you have somebody who left, they're about to return, they're making a comeback. This person's gonna rush in like a vat out of hell. They're gonna they could even be a little angry. Um we have these two in reverse, so the Magician in reverse is, like, really, really manipulative, like, because in the upright, he's already, like, a trickster, so when he's in the reverse, he'll pretty much tell you anything you want to hear to get what he wants out of you, so keep that in mind with the Magician, and then we have the Moon in reverse, so I feel like this person's about to reveal to you their truest, deepest, darkest emotions because the moon is like nothing but emotions okay it also is like hidden things but in the reverse it's like whatever is done in the dark is going to come to the light here and there's a lot of deep emotions this person has for you that they're going to express to you i feel like this person's pissed off at you though it's kind of like they love you they want to come back to you but it's kind of like they're just, they're not thinking about it. This person's not thinking straight because the Knight of Swords, he is not even really playing things out. He just does spur of the moment things. So he's just going to, whoever this is, whether it's a male or female, they're just going to come to you and blurt out all of their emotions. So get ready to hear everything this person's been thinking. And I feel like you've probably, like I said, been feeling their energy. It's this very heavy, dense energy like some of you guys could be crying some of you guys could be just distraught like there's just something in the air i've been hearing from multiple people they're going through like a dark night of the soul so like i feel like one twin or one soulmate is fine and it's the other soulmate who is not so i don't think it's a sagittarian that could be but a lot of you guys are about to get confronted and you're going to have to hear all their emotions. And then look at the first card on the top. Soulmate. So this person is a soulmate. Confirmed. This person also could be like very confused right now. You guys are like, um, okay. So if this person was confused in the past. And it's like they're trying to figure out like what the hell to do with you. Um, it's like they're going to make a spur of the moment and they're going to come back. Um, and they're going to put in work on you. Like this person's going to be focused directly on you. So somebody has made the decision that they are going to choose you and put the work in on you. This person also, like I said, there could be some type of like drama attached to this person. Like this person might even have like work problems. Like they may have a hard time finding work. I don't know. But with the five of wands, it's like they, there's a sense of they also know there's competition. So this person's going to be, could be very like combative. But they know they have to put the work in on you because there's other people who are also interested with the seven of cups and the five of wands. There's options. They know you have them. <laughs> yeah. This person is like um, tied to you. They're obsessed with you. Like, they are just literally obsessed. You know, I've been seeing other tarot card readers cover the naked people up. Because I guess YouTube doesn't like it. So, I'm going to cover them too. <laughs> like, oh well. Maybe I should like tape up, put some tape on it. But anyway, um, this person's obsessed to you. They want to be tied to you. 
they are not going to let you run off into the sunset because they want to be tied to you. This person, I feel like, is observing you online, too, by the way. Um, they keep a close eye on you. Like, they want to know what you're doing, like, at all times. And I feel like for some of you guys, and I know I say this a lot, but I get it a lot. Um, you guys are being observed by this person. And, you know, we have this black card that mentioned, like, hovering so this person, what they do is they stalk you. They're obsessed. Like, I just think this person just, it just stays constantly thinking about what you're doing, who you're talking to, where you're at. So they try to observe you, whether that's online or trying to come by your house, they're observing you. And it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For some of you, it's even a spouse. And then we have the Five of Cups. So, whoever this person is, they could be doing a lot of heavy drinking with the Devil and the Five of Cups. They could be a very, like, um, or they could have addictions. They could be drunk. They could be doing drugs. But they're also in despair over this. Yeah, like I said, this person's observing you. They keep a very close eye on you. They, like, always want to know what you're doing. You're going to hear from this person. They're going to be very passionate in nature when they do message you. This person also thinks you're very good looking, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> look, there could be two people who are observing you. So, I feel like you guys have a couple people, which I'm not shocked because the Seven of Cups came out. But it's like, this person's very passionate about you, too. So, this person's keeping it a secret. They're like, they're they're being very, like, sneaky. They're not telling you they're watching you. They're not telling you that they're in despair. So, <laughs> I really feel like what's about to happen to this person is, it's like, okay, they're not saying anything to you at the moment. So, this is for those of you who are kind of in a separation they're not saying anything, but something's going to happen with that moon in reverse that we've seen and the Knight of Swords where they're just going to lose their shit. Like one of these nights, I don't know if it's because they're going to get drunk or what they're about to do, <laughs> um, but they're going to lose their crap in their head. They're gonna like, I, I just, I have to go talk to Sagittarius. And they're going to make a phone call and they're going to spill all of their emotions out on you. But right now they're being very quiet, but it's not for long. And then we have the sun. So it's like everything could be dealing with a Leo, by the way, or a Pisces, Taurus. Um, but this person, whatever they've been trying to hide from you, like whether it's their emotions or whatever they've been doing, they can no longer do it. It's going to be exposed with the sun. Yeah, and then this is them returning. So this is a past person. They are going to come back. Um, they know that you're very guarded. With the Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Swords already knows the truth. Okay. So she already knows the truth. So she's a type. If you go to her. You better. Your truth better line up with her truth. Or it's off with your head. Like she will cut you out. If you do not tell her the truth. Because she already knows the truth. There's no lying to the Queen of Swords. She's already done CIA's your ass, police your ass. She knows all the dirty details. Okay. You cannot hide anything from her. So this person I think is kind of figuring out that when they come back, they better shoot it straight to you or you're gonna cut them off for good. Yes, because you have been hurt. What I, this is somebody who's probably hurt you multiple damn times and you are so guarded against them and ain't even funny. They're highly aware of it. This person knows what they've done to you. They also know that you're very stable here. They view you as a match to them because they're in a like King of Pentacles um, thought process. So they somehow this person thinks that you're their perfect match with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, they know you're stable, 
They know that you can be nurturing, loving, kind, a good wife, a good spouse, whether you're a male or female. So they do view you as a counterpart. Yeah, so some of you guys, this is an ex. Like, you guys were married, and now you're in separation. Um, but somebody here has commitment on their mind, too. I feel like the reason you're guarded, though, is because whoever this person is, I feel like they could have been breadcrumbing you, um, not giving you the commitment you deserve, not giving you the time and the attention that you deserved. And I feel like you're just sick of it. Like, I feel like you're ready to just cut this person off. Yeah, like I said, you're ready to say the hell with you. The hell with your breadcrumbs. I'm sick of you. And if you don't come back and give me the commitment I deserve and be the king and the queen of pentacles and build together, you don't want anything to do with them. So I feel like if this person doesn't know this, they're about to figure it out. Yeah, because they know what you want is the Ten of Cups. You want the family, the kids, the complete emotional fulfillment. So this person did betray you, which I was suspicious. I didn't want to say till I had proof. There was definitely some, probably some type of third party energy here because you feel betrayed. Like you feel like this person has stabbed you in the back multiple damn times. And it's like, how many more times can I allow this person to stab me? Okay, so some of you guys are have been allowing this for a while. But this person wants to come back, speak some type of truth, give you clarity. Some, like I said, some of you guys are married to this person or had some type of live-in situation. Okay, so this person's also like, they're getting clarity in their own mind. So if this person did you wrong, they're getting like their head. Like you see how their head is lit up. And I say this a lot. Like it's they're getting awakened. Like this is what happens to your soulmates, your twin flames, people that you're destined to be with. They get these like wake up calls. Okay. So you can even see here. This also represents the crown chakra with a crown on top of this sword. And this gives people clarity, truth, what they need to know. And you see these um, little dots here? There's six of them. Those also are like the six of swords, which is like moving to calmer waters. So this person's getting clarity that it's time to come back. They want to reunite with you. They could even want ask to move in with you. Um, because they have a desire to be close with you, to have this stability with you. And they're getting awakened to this. So if they were just like giving you breadcrumbs in the past and not really committing, they're getting a wake-up call here to do that. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, this person wants to heal the situation with you. And I also feel like for those of you who've been praying for this person to return, it's like you're going to have an answered prayer. This person is willing um, to take a leap of faith with you. It's like they're getting woke up here. It's like they're having an awakening. It's time to go back to Sagittarius. It's time to take a leap of faith with Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like they're, they really have gone within. Like, if you haven't been talking to this person, they have been soul searching. So don't get so frustrated. This is also destiny, Okay. And the hermit also finds his North Star. So this person knows that you're their North Star. If they don't, they soon will. They're getting a wake up from spirit. This is also a message from the other side, by the way. So they're really, you guys have your ancestors and their ancestors waking them up to this connection. Um, but this person has really been soul searching. So if you haven't heard from them and you feel like they ghosted you and they're being very quiet and... You know how much that would piss a Sagittarius off for somebody to move slow and not to contact them. But this person isn't just off in, you know, out running the streets or out at the local bar. They're actually at home, like, thinking of you. They're contemplating. They're really soul-searching, like, what to do in this relationship. They're, they are going to come back. This person's, like, very passionate 
about you. So when they come back, they will be passionate. See, this person done fell in love with you too. This person has a great deal of love for you. And they know that you're out here single. You're very independent. So they view you as somebody who is very independent. And somebody who is actually very emotionally fine without them. Like they know that you would be completely fine if they didn't come back. And I think a part of that probably hurts this person. But at the same time, they view you as very independent and somebody who can take care of themselves. And they know you're a free spirit too. <laughs> and the King of Cups is somebody who is very emotionally stable. So they, they feel this way about you too. Yeah, they view you as the Empress. So this person knows they cannot get better than you. They're going to come back around. See, this is like some, like I said, with the cards I pulled out in the beginning, those little black cards. This is like a twin flame soulmate. So this is like destiny. This was written in the stars. You guys have soul contracts together. Right now, they're pouting. This person is being quiet, giving the empress the silent treatment. <laughs> it's like I see them. They're sitting there pouting, thanking, but all they think about is you. Like this person is this stuck on you, okay? But something's going to happen that makes this person make a move. See, it's like this wheel is turning. That wheel never stops turning. Because right now they're holding back from you. They're holding back from the Empress. Whether you're male or female, they're holding back from you. But like I said, something's going to happen where they no longer can hold back their love. And this is where you have the movement. The wheel came in. Destiny came in and made this person move their ass. Okay. So now they've gotten on, they were holding back, not, but they can't no more. And so here they come on the horse. Once they're on the horse, they're moving. So this person is coming back towards you to offer you love. Because at the end of the day, you are their wish fulfillment. This person is emotionally attached to you, okay? I see it with the devil earlier. There's something about you where this person feels like they cannot emotionally even think straight if you're not there. So you are going to have not only an answered prayer, but a wish granted. So this person is going to come back. So that's what I have for you. They're coming back. Um, let me roll you some dice. See what signs you could be dealing with. So sometime before the end of September, your soulmate twin flame is coming. Give them time. For those of you who are in separation and you are getting really hurt and frustrated, just know that, like, have faith because this person's returning for you. They're just thinking. They're doing a lot of soul searching. They're going to come to the right conclusion. So just leave them alone. Okay, we have Leo, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio. So those are some signs. And then here's an angel number. One, four, nine. Oh, that's a six. So in numerology, there's no ten. So that's one, four, six angel number and then seven one one that comes out a lot i think that's seven one one so those also could be people's birthdays like october 7th october 9th september 9th uh july 10th july 11th july 1st april 1st june 1st november 7th april 6th there's a bunch of them there so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the support. And like I said, if you want your own personal reading, just email me. It's in the description. Thank you so much.